Liberty Walk, a name that's well known in the tuning community and blends the legendary JDM heritage into the veins of the world's most exotic supercars and sports cars. The Liberty Walk look was unique, considered to be over the top and in your face. When does this all begin? What is Liberty Walk? Who's behind it? Well, most of us have seen this eccentric Japanese guy in his signature diamond pose or hard pose. Well, that's Kato-san, also known as Shakuten Koyaji, literally translating to old man with lowered car. Well, that pretty much defines the guy. It was the Kaido races of the 80s and 90s in Japan with extended hoods and fenders that originally sparked the movement that became Liberty Walk. Those days, the Japanese street gang members would build cars with wide body, square fenders, transplanted headlights and no bumpers as if to say, don't ignore me. It was all aggressive, it was all colourful and nothing had to make any sense. And it doesn't. The crazier the better, the bigger the better, the louder the better. This culture is loved by some, yet hated by others. JDM in the 90s. The heart and soul of the 80s and 90s traditional Japanese custom car culture was truly going over the top with anything you could think of. Completely removing the stock fenders and replacing them with customized over fenders was the ultimate feather in your cap and only the most elite show cars were displaying this wild look. Wataru Kato, founder of Liberty Walk, has taken this old school Bozuzuku style and adapted it for the exotics that are already over the top. In 08, a good friend and customer of Mr. Kato came to him expressing his desire to own a newer Lamborghini. He wanted a Mercy, but not just a regular Mercy would do. He wanted to push the envelope and aggressively and enhance the already stunning appearance of the car. This was the beginning of LB Performance brand name, a company engineered to design, function and appearance upgrade. Performance first, styling as it has become known. Well, they mean function over form, more like a blend. Later in 09, an LB Performance Lamborghini Mercy made its way across the Pacific to SEMA. This was the Liberty Walk world debut. The response from fans was tremendous and Mr. Kado was an instant celebrity thanks to social media and the coverage of his build. Unfortunately, the brand was still too new and would be some time before customers and auto manufacturers were knocking down his door. By 2012, Liberty Walk redesigned the Mercy again, but this time using something called Works Over Fenders. The new look was branded and introduced as LB Works at the 2012 SEMA show. Fans have already been stunned as LB performance kits require cutting and grinding of the original body panels. Imagine cutting up an expensive car like a Lamborghini and revetting on fiberglass over fenders. It was always a concern of most exotic car owners. But the impact of what LB Works created was tremendous and lasting. Fans at SEMA were very impressed that a company had taken customization this far. The following year, at 2013 SEMA, LB Works introduced its Ferrari 458 Italia and its Nissan GTR. A year later, LB Works introduced its Lamborghini Aventador along with four other new models as well. Since then, Liberty Walk and Cardo have not slowed down. They are continuing to develop aggressive new body kits for world's finest cars. By 2020, there were more than 200 LB Works cars driving around Japan and more than 350 all around the world. The work style is now seen in North and South America, Asia, Europe and the Middle East as well. Every LB Works car is hand built. There is no mass production factory turning out these cars. Each car takes a lot of time to complete 
each vehicle needs to be individualized and personalized for each owner. The company strives to build a unique LB Works car for each and every one of its customers. Liberty Walk takes great pride in what they do. Both Cardo and the entire Liberty Walk crew strive to do things no one else even dare to try. They have carved their own path and started a world dominating movement. That's it for today's video guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and hit that subscribe button. And feel free to check out the merch and support this channel. Until next time, bye bye.